Yes, we've recently acquired it, and the story goes as it's been passed down the family that it belonged to someone who was shipwrecked. Yes. And was rescued, would you believe, by pirates yes. who presented him <laughs> with this box. <laughs> I've never heard of pirates actually giving a present to anyone, no. unless it's as they walk the plank, you know, right, sort of to take this down. with you, yes, yes strap to his back. Yes. This would have been far too nice a thing to strap to anyone on the plank, wouldn't it? Look at that. This is wonderful. A travelling bar, I suppose, is. Yes, or a yuppie picnic basket. <laughs> yuppie picnic basket. <laughs> Dating from round about 1800. Now let's look how we date these things. Because the, the box is virtually impossible to date. I mean, this could have been made any time between 1750 and 1850. Yes. But the paper inside, now if that were fabric, and I've been talking to Barbara Morris, who was here, um, and looking at it as if it were fabric. Yes. This would date sort of 1810 to 1815. If you lift up one of the glasses and you look at that shape, there's a perfect 1810, 1815 glass. And if you, can you just hold the, the lid? You see the festoons around the side are the typical classical features which came in after about 1770, 1790 and lasted through until about 1820. Now, the glass is a soda glass, not a glass of lead, which would indicate that it's continental. And yes. I think they're Dutch, quite uh -huh. certainly they're Dutch glass. Is that from the design? Or? The design and, and the type of glassware. Very, very soft glass, very lightweight. And it has a, a thud rather than a ring to it. And inside here, you've got some more. Yes. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. These are absolutely sparkly, aren't they? The lovely thing to have. I've, I've actually never seen one with a funnel before, which is, is quite unusual. So you've got two tumblers, a pair of goblets, little wine glasses, and a funnel to decant with, and then an arrangement of, of, of bottles, each of which has a number on, all different numbers on the shoulders, in, nice. done in this mercurial gilding. A lovely thing. Now, you, you've just acquired it, have you got it insured? Not yet. Well, I think I would. I would have thought that for replacement value, and it's not an easy thing to sell. Um, it's a collector's item, mm -hmm. uh, but not a utility antique, as so many things, no, which does help the price. It. Nevertheless, certainly in the region of two and a half thousand pounds. But just a lovely record of the past, and I like your story best of all. I yes. should stick to it. Rescued <laughs> right. by pirates, and given this as a present. What Thank you. Thank you. So this is a splendid jardinier, isn't it? Absolutely magnificently large. And imposing, but where does it come from? Well, I've had it since 1933, but it came originally from Duff House. Which is which um, in, Bam, in Banff. In Banff, that's it's one of the, the great of, houses. The Duke of Fife's, which is an Adam mansion there. Well, what it is, it, it, it was made in Paris, in France, somewhere in the first quarter of the 19th century. So it's, uh, it's getting on for quite an age, 160 years, something, 180 years old, something like that. And um, in, in the hard paste porcelain of the time, with a dry gold, which is um, unburnished gold, to make it look rather ancient. It looks sort of neoclassical in a way. Very imposing, and um, although it's a little bit damaged, um, my God, it's quite a, a, a valuable piece. So have, have you any idea what, what the value is? No, when my aunt gave up her house, she asked me to, for three pounds for it. Asked you three pounds? I'm glad you didn't take it. I think somewhere between about 600 and 800 pounds. So uh, yeah. I hope that's a profit of what your uncle gave for it to start with. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he didn't pay a great deal for it, because no, you didn't in not. those days. No, no, don't worry. Yeah. Well, am I to assume, since this picture has recently been reframed, that it's a, it's a new acquisition? Uh, not to the family. It's been in the family for a lot of years. Uh, my grandmother told my mother that it was a Farquharson and that he was a friend of the family's, that would be my great-grandparents, and that the little boy is my grandfather. So when was your grandfather born? Uh, 1867 or thereabouts. 1867, so 1877, 1880. So it would be about, painted about 1880. Yes, yes. But do, you don't know what the Christian name of this Farquharson is? No, was. no, that's all we know is that one sentence. And it's not signed, so... No. There are two... Scottish artist called Farquharson of this period, both born in the 1840s, one in 1846 and the other one in 1840. And 
I must say I'm not quite sure which one it is, although my instinct is that it's by David Farquharson, mm -hmm. who, this is much more his colouring, Joseph Farquharson paints sunsets and sheep in the snow yes, and is very yes, famous for that sort of yes, thing. Yes. David Farquharson paints landscapes, although his paint is, it becomes broader. I mean, it, becomes, it loosens up more, so it, who knows whether these family stories are true or not, mm -hmm. or whether there's a grain of truth in them. Yes. But I certainly feel that this could well be by David Farquharson. The reason I wanted to talk to you about it was that I just think it is not only a charming painting, but it's delightfully painted. Yes. And has a very Scottish feel about it. Yes. Certainly those cattle down by the river mm. ring a chord with me. David Farquharson uses this all the time in a lot of his landscapes. I see. Well, I think it's fascinating. I just think it's a lovely painting. And even if we don't know who's by and we can't mm. absolutely say it's by David Farquharson, yes. it's a smashing thing to look at. And really, that's what we're interested in. As for value, um, there's a little uncertainty about the authorship. Mm -hmm. So we can't say definitely it is David Farquharson. We can say it's a jolly nice picture. So mm -hmm. let me say somewhere around 3,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs>